What up guys, it is Justice here, and the Halloween event is upon us, 2015 on RuneScape. And to enter this Halloween event, you just go to Birthrop, as shown there on the screen, go through the rift, talk to the cat, aka Bob, with a mask on. And then once you talk to uh, Ka, they'll walk you through uh, how to do the event, what you can get out of it. In this video, I'm going to concisely inform you guys of how to obtain favor, and then with that favor, what rewards you can purchase. And whether the rewards are even worth it or not for you. Now, events are technically just supposed to be a little bit of fun. The rewards are never incredible. However, if you compare it against like world events, world events, uh, the rewards from them have been very, very significant in terms of experience. And with the Falador uh, temporary event as well, the, t the invasion of Falador, that is giving people like 500 to 600k experience per day or has been. And just a reminder to everybody, make sure you go and uh, collect your rewards from the chest before the 28th of October because I'm pretty certain it's ending tomorrow. So as shown at the beginning of the video there, I embarked a boat. Uh, you need to embark the boat and collect 20 souls whilst sailing around. Uh, and once you collect all 20 souls, each soul will give you five favor each. You then want to go to the bridge. You want to then click the purple uh, or the green mist of souls and essentially that states that you now want to guide those souls across the bridge. Um, there are about three different checkpoints on the bridge and the souls will stop and require you to either kill the monsters where you get one favor for each monster you kill or siphon the monsters. When you siphon, I would advise to do this because you get five favor each siphon and it's a lot quicker, especially if multiple people are doing it at the same time. It just seems to, you seem to be able to get across the bridge a lot quicker. Once you guide the souls um, across the three checkpoints to the end of the bridge, you then go to if Ik Thalrin, um, if that's how you pronounce it, and you get 200 favor for completing that uh, little mini game there. Every so often, uh, the main boss, a mascot avatar, will appear, and this is a community boss where everybody in that world at that time can attack the boss. It's a bit like the crab. Um, with the beach event that happened earlier this year. Once everybody piles that boss and it's killed, each person who attacked it will receive 350 favor. And with that favor, you can go and purchase the Halloween 2015 event rewards. This, these rewards start from a herb burner, which costs 15,000 favor, a Caridian cat pet, which is 10,000, the Ich Ichthalrin Gravestone, which is 5,000, the Amascot Gravestone, which is 5,000, and an XB Large Lamp for 900. Now, of course, the Critian Cat, the Gravestones are all cosmetic, um, you know, cosmetic rewards, which you can purchase. And of course, the Gravestone, you know, that'd be pretty cool to have in some ways, because when you do die, this is a one-off event, you probably will never be able to obtain that Gravestone any other way again. But if you're going to purchase anything, it's either going to be the Experience Rewards, or it's going to be the Herb Burner. I'm going to focus on the Herb Burner now because I'm pretty interested in what this actually does. It's a deployable Herb Burner and it costs 15,000 favor to obtain. When deployed, all players may use clean herbs on it and it will provide 10 times the herbal or experience given for cleaning herbs. It also gives a bit of fire making experience. It's similar to portables. It lasts for five minutes and then it will run out, but then you can redeploy it. So it's an un it has an unlimited amount of time in which you can use it but you just have to redeploy it every five minutes. Now let's just try and work this out and see if it's actually even worth it. You can, with this burner, you can burn up to approximately 1,000 herbs. Uh, Fellstalk herb is the highest level herb which you can obtain. That equals around 168,000 XP per hour, but you'll lose the herb because it's a herb burner. So the XP isn't that great and you'll lose the herb, so it ends up costing you like 3.7 mil GP an hour. But let's look from a different perspective. After discussing with my clan, you know, I was trying to figure out a way of making this useful. And a guy called Darty stated it could be good for Ironmen, as they can burn the herbs which they've farmed. Burning those herbs which they don't need for potions. So if there's any Ironman out there, if, you, if you've got an Ironman account and you're listening right now, this might be useful for you, and it might be worth getting your hand on it, your, your hands on it, because you could get a decent amount of herbal or experience out of the herbs that you're using rather than just, let's say, dropping them because you can't be bothered making those into potions because you don't need those potions. So you at least get something out of, the, out of your farming efforts. And that's about it for today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and also leave your thoughts about this event in the comment section below. 
happy Halloween to everybody in advance, and I'll see you guys in the next video.